Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a mod with me video that I'm really excited about. I've been waiting for a time when I'm in my home that there is light outside <laughs> to film this for a little bit now. So I picked up this deck called the Herb Crafters Tarot and I had had my eye on it for a while. Honestly like yeah, since I was a lot less experienced, and I remember at the time, I was like, this is too advanced for me. I'll show you why. It's these spreads of plants, so um, it definitely requires definitely more, it definitely requires more of an intermediate to advanced knowledge of the tarot, and yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous, obviously, and I was just thinking that while these white borders are really nice, it could sort of free things up to get rid of them. You know, the back is kind of less than ideal. Don't know if it shows up, yes, but there is this border that isn't great. So I would like to remove it. As a result, it means that I'm going to have to get rid of the words on the bottom of the cards. So the actual plants in question are going to be cut off struggling <laughs> they're gonna get cut off and that is tough because I haven't fully learned this deck yet so it will make things a little bit more complicated but the fact that you know the actual name of the tarot card is going to still be there I think that's important and then we do have this awesome guidebook to look things up if need be so Yes, it doesn't have the images, but it has all of the names of the different herbs and such, and flowers, etc, etc. So everything I need is there, and I'm feeling really confident about this idea and the fact that I can execute it. So I'm going to get started with trimming this deck. I will refer you to my previous deck mod video for inspiration as well as the person that I pretty much completely learned this method from which is the channel Boho Tarot on YouTube. Shout out to her. And yes, I'll have those links in the description. But otherwise, let's just get right into it. I'll show the beginning of my trimming process and sort of do the rest off screen and catch up with y'all midway through. Hello, hello. It is actually the next day now, but it is time to get started with cutting off these edges. So what I've done here is I have my little guillotine situation and I measured out the exact length uh, of the card that sort of lines up with where I want to be cutting it. And I've pretty much positioned it where I think it's going to fall and, and cut cut where I want it to cut. So once I sort of get that positioning, I tape down a ruler. That way it kind of just makes this perfect cradle and I'll be able to slide every card into the exact same position. Again, all pulled from Boho Tarot. Uh, so it's a really great technique. So I'm really hoping that this is like the right positioning. I've double checked it a bunch of times. So I'm gonna go for it now. I think an important thing is to really hold the card down because otherwise you can sort of start to pull it as the blade is coming down. You really do have to be like decisive with the with the slice. Okay, so now I'm really going for it. All right, I tape this down a little bit more. Really just want to make sure this is accurate. <sighs> this really is like quite nerve wracking, but it's like good exposure therapy for my anxiety to just like force myself to be really decisive like there yeah <laughs> really is no uh going back with this kind of thing but all right here goes nothing gonna give this a shot and see what happens so i'm holding this down really firmly and i'm just gonna be really quick about it Well, it certainly looks perfect. Look at that. Looks perfect. Got off this bit. I'm always left with the feeling that it's like slightly slanted. You need to see, but it even got off this little like 2019 US games bit. 
Okay, so I've determined that it is slightly slanted by um, half of a tenth of a centimeter. So, such a small amount. <sighs> it's a stressful thing. It really, really is. I will say, like, um, if you need to get one of these guillotines, I would really recommend getting a full-size one. I am super, super regretting getting this half-size one, but I wanted to just, like, do things exactly the same. But I had a feeling I would regret it because having this ruler hanging off of the side really, really does not make things easier. It makes things a lot more challenging and stressful, and I always feel like it's going to fall off and that things are shifting slightly. So I would definitely recommend getting a full one. Definitely feeling that regret right now of, like, I should not have done this. So... That is something to consider, but it's okay. You know, we live and we learn. Um, yeah, this definitely is slightly, a tiny fraction of a centimeter off. So I'm just going to move forward with it, I think. It's unfortunate, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Here's another one. I'm like afraid that this that this G is gonna get sliced off. So this is where I can sort of compare. Should be just right. Let's give it a go. That's how I know it's slanted too, and it doesn't like perfectly cradle in here. There's like not a perfect 90 degree angle. Hmm. And that's because this is freaking shifting. Oh, it kills me. Respectfully, I would, if you have the space, really recommend getting the full size one because this just doesn't, doesn't make any sense for me personally. But yeah, let's just go with this. This does seem a bit more stable than before, so that's good. And it's not moving around, so I feel good about this. Okay. Woo! Be indecisive. Ooh, we. That is literally just under that G. Oh my goodness. That is cutting it close. Literally a hair's breadth or whatever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see, so these pretty much match up. Okay, well, this is working so far. Here's what the border is starting to look like. I think it's promising. So yeah, let's just keep rocking and rolling. I will catch up with y'all once I have done this whole deck. Hello, crows. <laughs> once I've done this whole side, rather. Okay, cool. Bye. A little ASMR for you. <laughs> uh, but yes, I've cut off all of the bottoms and it's looking really uniform, honestly. I'm, I'm really happy with how things seem to be going. Basically, very smooth. And yeah, now I will... Yeah, I guess do the tops. So hopefully the tops will be more chill. Um, don't have to worry as much about the words. Don't have to worry about words at all, rather. I <laughs> uh, just want to make sure that I take enough off to get this here, this like US Games little thing, and obviously the whole border. So I will rig that up now. Okay, it is rapidly getting dark out, but I have completed cutting off all of the tops and the bottoms. It's looking really good, you know, once again, like it's never gonna be factory level of perfect or anything like that, but I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Um, there are just a few that are like, you know, slightly standout type of thing. But all in all, it's like very smooth and totally functional. 
you know, like that is a very fine cut. So yes, hopefully we can keep that up with the sides. I'm going to go ahead and slice both of those and then it will be time to do the corners. Super excited. I already love how this is going. Uh, we did lose some of the artwork, you know, but nothing major. Like the stone here would have been nice. Um, you know, most everything else is like totally fine. So yeah, no worries there really. So yeah, I'm gonna do the edges now. Okay, I shouldn't have gotten rid of all the, the pieces I cut off because they looked cool, but I already cleaned them up by accident. But yes, I am so happy right now. So, so happy. Look how good this looks. It is very uniform. And yeah, I'm just super psyched about how this came out. And look at these images. They're like freed up. The backs look really, really nice. And yeah, now it's time to round the corners. So I'm gonna do a little test run to pick out the right size corner around because this particular punch uh, comes with three different sizes. So let's check that out now. Okay, so I'm almost wondering if it makes sense to do the smallest one, which is three millimeters or whatever. So let's give this a go. Hmm. Not quite. It has to be like a perfect 90 degree angle for it to work. Okay, so it's a very tight, tight corner if you can see that. And then I'm gonna do the medium size. And that is a bit, bit more round. Essentially, I like the way that the medium size looks. The medium is going to be good. So I'm going to go through now, do a little punchy punchy. I guess I can demo one of them. Yeah, I like the medium. Okay, I'll just do that real quick. So medium punch, put this in, fits well into the 90 degrees. Ow. <laughs> There you go, one punch. Let's get a full thing. Oh, I'm so excited to see how this looks. Oh my goodness, I love this. What do we think? Cause I am freaking thrilled. <laughs> I'm so happy with how this looks. Wow, okay. I will check back in once I have done this. What's 77 times four? I don't feel like doing the math right now, but <laughs> that many more times, a few hundred. Uh, yeah, I'll come back when this whole stack is done. Less sharp. <laughs> hello, hello, it is the next day. Hopefully this won't be too overexposed. It's so nice and sunny right now, but I thought that would be nice for looking at all of the art. So yes, this deck is done. Uh, I'm not edging it at this time with a color. I just feel that with the background of the backing being so light, it doesn't really stand out at all. Um, you know, maybe if it was like a black background with really white edges, that would be kind of different. I would probably be, I would probably be more compelled to edge those, but I'm feeling good with this. So yeah, I'm super happy. As you can see, this is like very uniform, really uniform. Like it feels so good. And the edges came, or the corners came out really nice, I think. You can take a look at the art now. I'm so happy. Like, look how nice. Oh my goodness. I don't know, I just think there's something about freeing up the art that um, looks really good. It's like there's nothing 
distracting from it. And you really focus in on that. I don't know, it's just a really nice feeling to personally put work into modifying a deck. It just, I don't know, it feels like you've bonded with it that much more. So yeah, I'm super happy with how this came out. You know, I think with a mass-produced deck like this that's on the more inexpensive end, um, something like this would be a good place to start with modifying, I think. You know, I definitely would not do this with any of my rarer or out-of-print decks. No freaking way. I'm not, not experienced enough with that yet. But with something like this, the stakes are a little bit lower, you know, I'm a lot lower, honestly. If you mess up, it's okay. And yeah, so I would definitely think about that. But you know, if this is something you've been thinking about doing with a deck, I really recommend just going for it. Like I was kind of saying before, it's a really nice experience to just kind of force yourself to do something, to be <laughs> fool-like in that way and just jump off of a cliff and go for it and make all of these like irreversible decisions uh with the composition of a deck of some cardstock so yeah i would recommend this i'm really happy with how this project came out and definitely stay tuned for this in an upcoming pick a card reading or any other kind of study video i think i'm you know gonna take some time to learn this deck bond with it more but i can't wait to use it because it's so gorgeous and it's perfect for this time of year so yeah anyway that was the modifying the herb crafters tarot thank you so much for being here if you are still here <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got inspired and yes take care and i hope to see you in another video soon bye